Most coaches who like want help with their business, that's the thing they need help with. Is they, they are a great trainer, they bring the passion, they love helping kids. This is our focus. First, like, I, I want to talk about this one more time. Like, we know most coaches are going to be super passionate. And 5% or less are going to focus on the business. And when you can pair these two things together, we know you're going to find a lot of success. This is why you're here, and this is why most coaches who like want help with their business, that's the thing they need help with. Is they, they are a great trainer, they bring the passion, they love helping kids, but this is our focus. So I'm gonna break down the goals that you set, all right? If you, 12 months from now, you wanna be at 10,000 a month, right? So I'm gonna put 12 months, I'm gonna put 10K a month. So right now, this is the current. I'm just gonna make this simple. It's, you're doing around 2,500 a month. And like we talked about earlier, that's a level we know most people wanna get to, right? They, they can get there and quit their job, mm -hmm. right? So you're already at that level here okay so if we want to go from here to here there's really two things that we have to do all right so number one really quick does it does it have to be that big of a jump can we jump from 25 to doubling that maybe like I yeah know, i know 10 is the, is, the, is the goal i want to get to but i see 5,000 be more more of uh reaching you can re I can get you five thousand before I can get you ten thousand. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can get that. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I want to right now. I want to like, you know, step. I don't know. Ten is like I said. It's, I keep and I gotta take that out of my mind. You said it's fantasy. Like I would love to. Make, I don't see myself making ten thousand dollars a month yet. I guess you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, that's a big goal or a big number. I don't want to jump from just jump twenty five and now I'm making ten grand a month. I don't right. really see it. I guess I'm, I'm playing with my confidence right now. But I see five thousand as a as, mm -hmm. a as a stepping stone to okay. Mm -hmm. This year you made five thousand a month. Next year we'll shoot for the ten. Then we'll shoot for the whatever. Yep. That's left. You know, the, what do you think? I mean, that yeah. I jump. Just play by to go to you're team. you're a step ahead of me. Yeah, because if we're here right now, this is the problem that most people face is they'll be at a current financial level and they'll be like, all right, well, I want to make ten thousand a month, and that's their inside their head. That's their goal. That's what they want to do, and then. What happens though is they don't take the small steps. Like the only way to actually get to this number per month, right? Not doing it for one month and then falling back, but do it per month, is we need to have smaller milestones, all right? So the first milestone, if we're looking at where you're currently at, at 2,500 a month, the first milestone would be 3,000 a month, all right? Because again, when you get there, Right? You're doing $500 better per month than you were doing. And then that becomes your baseline. All right? So then you don't drop below that baseline. Because if you have things set up to where clients are paying every 30 days, you have subscriptions in place, you're adding new clients in your program, and you just told me uh, one of the programs is 100 a month. So that means if we just broke it down over a 30 day period of time. If we added five new kids into that program, you and you are right now doing 2500 a month mm -hmm. you're at 3000 a month does that make sense right, right all right so if you added three or five clients you'd be at three grand a month all right so the first is we need to have tangible deadlines tangible deadlines and that just means like when i set a deadline that's like and it doesn't all have to be financial, but if I say by January 1st, I need to have this many people that are in my program. And I get to January 1st and I'm like not even remotely close to that. Then I look back in the mirror and I say, well, what did I do during the whole year? Like, why was I not adding clients? Like, 
why was I not marketing as hard as I should have been? Um, how are these sales calls going? Was I recording every call and listening back to it? Like, what is my price point not working? So you should always be able to have tangible deadlines, right? And that means that it's not like, all right, in two weeks, I'm gonna make 10,000 a month. <laughs> and that's, that's what people do is they, they psych themselves out and they say, well, I have to do it by this time. And if I don't, then I'm just gonna go back and do what I was normally doing. All right, so a very simple, tangible deadline for going from 2,500 to 3,000 a month, in my head, it'd be 45 days. Because I look at that, it's like, no matter which program you sell into, whether it's the 65 or the, the 75 or the 100 a month, right? It's the matter of just looking at that and saying, all right, I have 45 days to market harder, get on more uh, sales calls, connect with more coaches, connect with more parents. And all you have to do is look at it and say, well, I need to close, all right, I'm just gonna put it over here. I need to close five clients who are in the monthly program at 100 a month. And if you can do that within a 45 day period of time, I look at that number 45 days, very simple, right? That's around six weeks. So that's less than adding one client per week over a six week period of time. How possible do you feel like that is? If you just broke it down like, all right, this week I'm gonna, I'm gonna go balls of the wall. I'm gonna focus on having this many conversations and that's gonna result in one client per week. How possible do you think that is? That's very possible. Right. Very possible. Right. So then if you look at that number, you're like, okay, great. If it takes 45 days to reach the 3,000 a month level, right? Then we can reverse engineer the entire calendar year and we can say, you know what? If you only did that, like if you stuck to that system and every six weeks you added 500 more dollars per month that's included with what you're already doing, because at that point you're already doing this, all right? Getting to this number is very simple when we just have small, like mini goals, all right? Because if your goal is to do, all right, and I'm just gonna break this down, if it's to do uh, every six weeks, there's $500 of more, uh, I'm gonna put subscriptions, let's put subs, all right? How much, how much revenue will that bring over the course of an entire year? I want you to think real quick. So if you, every six weeks, you add in another $500 a month to your program, mm -hmm. over the course of a year, how much money will that generate? Mm. Every six months? Six weeks. Every six weeks, I'm sorry, six weeks. Yeah, every six weeks. No, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it simple. Close, I was gonna say close, it sounds like it's close to six figures. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just play it simple where it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna underestimate. Let's say it was every, <clears throat> let's say it was every eight weeks, all right? Okay. If that was 500 for every eight weeks, you're adding $500 more of new customers and you retain everybody, all right? And you're at this level here, okay? Then I look at that, well, how many weeks are in a year? There's 52 weeks in a year, right? So if I look at every two months, I'm adding $500 more per month, then I can take 500 times six, all right? That's 3,000 more dollars per month, all right? Per year that you're making. And that's way less than, than what I showed you because that's every eight weeks, every eight weeks right. all right? So that's gonna be less. So then if we take this, plus this, all right, you're at 6,000. 
But the way I look at it is very simple. It's like when you achieve your first goal, your first 42 day goal of reaching that number, it's like, well, why would you want your goal to be the same? Like, if you know you can do it, why wouldn't you push yourself and be like, all right, over the next six weeks, I'm gonna add six clients or seven clients or eight clients. So this number is always evolving. Like this number right here can, it should go up. Cause I know you're super competitive. Like you're not gonna wanna just do the same thing. But the thing is, if you just did the same thing over and over and over and over and over again for the course of a year, all right, without even like blinking, your business would be doing more than double of what you're currently doing if you just had that one goal of every six weeks, I'm gonna sell five of these subscriptions, which I feel like is very doable. You fully get your product, you feel like it's easy to sell. If that's the case, don't you feel like we can make it, make the product better and make the product more expensive? where it's a bigger investment for parents, what do you think?